Now, I want to play a clip of uh, Rand Paul, the senator, soon to be one of your colleagues again. Again, I don't want to count our chickens, but I want to come back from this break in a minute and, and talk about the campaign and some of the other uh, issues out there and what uh, you recommend we do about it and strategy. But Rand Paul is, is getting more hardcore. When you're faced with tyranny, say it. And he recently said Bill Clinton's a sexual predator uh, and that uh, we should not be, uh, you know, tolerating him being the Democratic Party's front man, which is what you would expect libertarian Republicans to do if they really wanted to win. They would talk like you're talking. They would talk like Ted Cruz. They would talk like Rand Paul, whose polls go up. I mean, that's what's even incredible. These Republicans won't even do the right thing when it will catapult them to success. It's just I don't understand the bubble that they're in, and I want you to explain that to me in a moment. But first, let's play this Rand Paul clip from C-SPAN last night. It's up on DrudgeReport.com and uh, get Congressman Bob Barr's take on it and his his statement on Bill Clinton, who he, who he almost, he got him indicted in the House but not convicted in the Senate. Uh, but let's go to that clip of Rand Paul. The Democrats can't say, oh, we're the great defenders of women's rights in the workplace, and we will defend you against uh, some kind of abusive boss that uses their position of authority to take advantage of a young woman when the leader of their party, the, leader fu the leading fundraiser in the country, is Bill Clinton, who was a perpetrator of that kind of sexual harassment. And I like how the senator didn't back off when he was attacked as the incredulous reporter. Like, how dare you say the sky is blue and the sun is yellow? How dare you say grass is green? Congressman Bob Barr, uh, what is your take uh, on what he said? And would you like to expand your remarks on that? Uh, definitely, Alex. Thank you. And I had to deal with uh, sort of another aspect of this just this morning. I was on a uh, an MSNBC interview with Chuck Todd, and he was referring back to the uh, impeachment uh, as uh, what the Democrats tried back then to avoid impeachment, and that is, oh, this is just sexual picadillos. Uh, so they're they're resurrecting that now to inoculate uh, Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton once again, uh, as you know. And I know, and I think most Americans realize both at the time, but maybe we need to remind them. Bill Clinton was not impeached for personal behavior. He was impeached because he violated federal criminal laws on obstruction of justice and uh, perjury. Uh, and that's why. And if we need to remind the American people of that, then we need to remind the American people of that. You know, with regard to the evidence of uh, sexual uh, being a sexual predator, we had in the House file drawer after file drawer after file drawer of evidence and information that the star uh, uh, folks uh, had, the special uh, prosecutor, uh, independent counsel rather, had pulled together uh, that, uh, uh, you know, I can't go into detail because there's a House resolution that prohibits any of that from being made public. But a lot of it leaked. It was biting women, raping them, choking them. Oh, I mean, it was, I mean, it was, it was awful. Uh, and yet we were pre prevented by the Senate uh, from using any of that in the impeachment uh, trial uh, in the in the in the Senate. Uh, so there is evidence there. I mean, it is it is more than clear, uh, more than beyond a reasonable doubt what uh, what this man uh, was and may very well still be. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty.